Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Prison Architect but this isn't our normal prison. Now if you've ever loaded up Prison Architect you will know that when you load up the game um, well the first time you get the intro um, but then after that you get an empty map. Now the important thing to do is that when you get this um, empty map if you are continuing a game you need to go here and you need to load your prison. I have all my different prisons here and um, I will save them with different names. Now you will see that there's the auto save prison file. Um, I'm actually doing this video because of someone who commented on one of my videos that they lost their prison because they were relying on this auto save. Now if you open up Prison Architect for 10 minutes it will overwrite this auto save with a new auto save of the blank prison. So it's very important that when you are um, doing a new prison, you actually um, save it with your name. So you would actually save the prison and you would give it a name, for example, um, QSG Prison. QSG standing for Quick Start Guide. So I've just saved that. So now if the auto save saves over my um, autosave, it will be saving over the autosave from my ladies prison series. But it's okay because as you can see if I go here on the load I have a more recent ladies prison than autosave prison. So that's okay. Now um, if you've done a lot of stuff to this and you want to save the prison you have to save it again because it will save only that time now the autosaves will keep saving to autosave it won't change the autosave name to this one's name it will always be autosave um, now if we go into the options um, you can open the save folder from here so if you're having trouble with your prison you might not be able to open the saves and you don't know where they're saved you can do that and it will take you here and they're saved in here so you might be able to for example go on the auto save uh, prison because I have an escape file of that as well and go on restore previous versions now I'm on Windows 10 but it's quite safe quite similar and you can go on previous versions now I have um, restore points switched off on this computer but if you do have restore points set on your computer there's a chance you might be able to restore a previous version if that's happened to you in my case it would be a waste of time but anyway yeah that's how you get there if you want to try and save your autosave if you think it's been overwritten um, but yes it's important that um, you do um, try and rename your prison as much as you can um, and save it as often as possible because it can be horrible to um, to lose a prison like that so okay so we've gone through that we've saved a prison now prisoners are arriving soon no the first thing you want to do when you're actually after saving the uh, the prison with a name is to close your intake I have forgotten that before in one of my playthroughs and it does cause a lot of problems so um, then what you want to do um, after that is start planning out what you want as in a prison now um, there are different types of prison. Um, there are the um, there are the high risk, the normal risk, and the low risk. Then there's the ultra high risk and the protected ones. But they will all be reassigned from these three basic um, types of prisoners. So you would actually say this high risk guy is causing a lot of trouble so I'm going to make him ultra high risk and leave him in his own wing all alone. But if you're new to the game and obviously if you're watching this quick start guide you would be quite new to the game. 
it's probably safest to just have minimum security. So when you do turn it on, just have minimum security, guys. I usually start off, I'm quite experienced with um, Prison Architect. I don't know as much as some people do, um, but I mean, I'm quite experienced with it and I always find it's much easier to start the game with only minimum security guys coming in, or girls, because uh, now you have the women's prisons, um, and um, it makes life a lot easier till you get the prison up and running and ready for the troublemakers. Now you might want a hard game and you might want to start off with the maximum security guys, and um, in this case, um, we'll probably stick to the minimum for now because obviously this is a quick start guide and um, that's what we're going to do. We're, I'll probably be doing a differently themed hospital, hus themed hospital, theme hospital, a differently themed prison in a little bit because um, I'm kind of getting a bit burnt out on the ladies prison. Um, so we will do uh, say a maximum security themed prison, something a little bit different from what we've done in the past so um, we'll be doing something like that but for now in the quick start guide we'll be preparing for minimum security only now um, before the prisoners arrive you have money you have an income and you have to balance the books you're gonna need staff and you wanna set an area for staff so you can say okay where do I, what, how do I wanna plan out my prison do I wanna all as one thing. Do I want it as separate buildings and um, each building would house different things? That's up to you. I mean, that's the good thing with Prison Architect. You can plan it how you like it. So, I mean, what, what I think we're going to plan to do um, is we'll actually plan out our you can do it like this, you can do planning down here, you can choose walls, objects or pathways. I usually just plan out the buildings. Now, I think for this particular prison what we'll do is we'll have, say, administration um, here, this sort of area-ish. We'll have um, like where they live over here then up here we'll have um, kitchen cantini things and over here we'll have like the visitation and the yard so um, you obviously, well not obviously, you can't build on the very edge of the map um, you do one up. Now I like to make a fence all the way around so um, you can plan a fence out Nowadays you can also do the uh, the snipers outside. Um, now it depends how secure you want the the prison. Um, you could do something like this, so they can't like run across the road. Just do it neatly. So that's that hasn't actually built anything. It's just planning. So I plan to do a fence all the way around like that. Then what you could do, you could do like a, a double fence if you want to keep it like very very safe. Um, but maybe you'd only want to do that where the prisoners would be, um, not where the administration is and waste, say, a bunch of space. So um, what we'll do is we'll plan out something for the administration. Now an administration building, you need certain things. You need a staff room. So we'll do one, two, three, four. So the stuff room will be like that, but it'll be bigger. Now, the offices have to be four by four minimum. I like to keep to the minimums to save on space. So one, two, three, four. When you count out the fourth one, you always do another bit. So you'd have something like that. That would be the um, one office. and that would be a second office so we want to count up our stuff so we're going to need a uh, warden 
we're going to need it's a chief, a foreman, psycho. No, they actually the psychologist nowadays you can put in a different place because they actually do things with the prisoners. So one, two, three, four, five officers. Okay, so we've got one, two, and we can um, go back on planning. We can do something like that. Now, some people like to um, like to have double corridors. Um, for something like this, I don't think it will affect the way the game runs. Um, possibly, possibly not. Um, but what we have is a bit of an uneven building. So what we can do is something like that. And we have six offices. And you're like, but we needed five offices. Yes, so what we're going to do I'm going to fix up this to make it a bit neater. I'm going to do the doors like so. And do something like that. So that will be the staff room. Uh, we could, or we could do the door into the staff room like so. Or we could do like so. Have an even bigger staff room. It'd be a bit puzzled, but it's quite a massive staff room actually. Um, so yes, hallways do take up a lot of space if you um, are building with bigger hallways. They make things look nicer. But if you're trying to cram as much stuff into the space that you have as possible, I recommend fewer hallways. So that that's. Oh, and I did that automatically. You go on foundation and you choose the building and then you build over that. So now we can also, and you can see these guys are going to start getting their deliveries and they're going to start delivering stuff here. Now, um, if you go into the rooms, you'll see that you have something marked for garbage and something marked for deliveries. So we want to actually, you can just grab any room and right click and drag and it wipes off those rooms so right now we have no delivery area and no garbage area so we're gonna need to mark deliveries quite soon because otherwise they can't do their um, their work so we're gonna have a fence built over here so what we can do is we can have deliveries big area like that. The more you have the better it is. You can have them on both sides of the road and um, we can do garbage right next to it. Doesn't need to be as big and you can add one for exports. Exports is when you start to produce things in your prison they go there and they get picked up and sold for money. So that gets things like that now um, that gets things like that done so now um, we've made this building and it's saying requires entrance without an entrance it won't be finalized so we need to grab a door now it's going to be a staff area so we want a staff door now a staff door gives you a little bit more security than a normal door would and if you can see he's going there to fit fit that in and as soon as that is built um, as soon as that's sort of ready this whole building will be built until it's actually built um, people just pass through as if it's not there and as you see my planning has disappeared around where the building has been built but it's still there where I've marked out for our rooms to be placed so now we go on to materials and we can choose brick wall or concrete, depends on how you like it. And you can mark the walls inside. 
and that will help them to start building the interior walls. Now the first bit of prison building is quite slow, quite tedious, but obviously this is just like a quick start guide. I'm not going to go too far in just to get you started, to know where, where you can find things and especially how you should be saving the file. Um, so as you see that they're working quite quite well and they're getting that built. Now we have these flashing lights. That means that there's no electricity. Okay. Now the prison needs two types, well now three types of um, of utilities. You've got electricity and you've got water so you need a power station and a water pump and you also have a um, a water heater which isn't actually showing up here and it's a bit weird now I'm actually noticing here um, that I have the visitor booth finally showing for me in utilities I've been looking for that actually in other in uh, my other playthrough so I'll have to see how that works um, but I'll play with that in my other playthrough um, on my current playthrough actually um, so what we want to do is we need to slap down some power and some water now you can plan where you want these things so we're going to say we're going to have some visitation up here maybe it's an idea to have the power a bit away from the prisoners so maybe we can do visitation and power up here in this area um, it makes sense sometimes to plan out how the prison will be completely um, with the planning I say right here is going to be this here is going to be that because more often than not you're going to need more power stations um, than more than one um, obviously depending on the prison now you can expand as you go along or you can say okay each bit will have its own power or this power will do this section and that power will do that section it all works well just as long as you don't attach the wires to each other so um, what we want to do here is plan out for the visitors area we want to do something pretty much um, matching what we have so we'll get our planning and we'll do our walls so we can do going up one away something similar like that so we had one two three four then a wall then a space then a wall then one two three four it was something like that so 13 wide that will make it something like that and then that can be visitation and um, and power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, still with the planning, draw out a little bit of a, an area, say like that, just to split it. This will be visitation, do it in the middle, and I write. Viz, actually, uh, that looks more like years. Viz, so I remember that's visitation because I tend to forget what things are. And then we can slap our utilities in, in this area. Um, might want to build the building around it again. So foundations, because we missed it last time, foundations, building, and we build it around it. So let's start doing that. Um, 
Now obviously these things take time, I'm going to put the, the speed up a bit. These things take time to build. Um, you can hire more more people as you go along. Now obviously we need to finish off this administration block as well, but without any electricity it's not going to do anything. So it's quite important to get these up. Now they're quite expensive um, to do, so um, you have to be careful you don't want to do like 10 power supplies because you burn through all your money like crazy so we do our stuff do it like that and he he or she will come along no. No. plop it over reason i'm doing a stuff no. door is um no. because of visitation you don't just want a normal door again you want someone to open it but it doesn't need to be too secure no one's going to be escaping from visitation um well, they shouldn't be. Um, but we're going to put some other security measures in place once we start um, start doing more things. So what I want to do as well is build a another staff door from this side. And it will only be um, accessible from here for people to come in and actually repair or do anything that they need to do to these utilities that we're going to put in. And then I can put the wall. The reason I did the door first is so that I don't actually shut someone in here. So if they build the wall they might be one side or the other. Um, when walls are being built you can't pass through them, unlike when foundations are being built. So once they're up, they're up and um, yes you're stuck so now what we want to do we, wanna need, we need to put a power station now you don't want to well you can plonk it right up against the wall but you don't want to you need to leave space around it because you can add pardon the noise in the background you can add um, capacitors to it which actually adds power to the power station it improves its performance. You get this. I'll zoom in. This little, um, this little thing shows how much the power station is being used. So to do these nine bulbs, it's using that much. So now, if we pass our cable straight down here, as they put in the cable, you see that it's going to take up more power to do these six bulbs down here. So we let them build that and that's gone up even further so now we'll build this down here now you don't have to go exactly into every room um, there'll be like little feeder wires come off of the cables you can see them so they go a certain distance but you need to have pretty much everything covered so now once this is connected again you'll see that the power will drop again we'll let them put everything down the last one there and obviously they haven't done the most important one so now we've got more bulbs and we're almost at half of the capacity so now to improve to increase the capacitor we slap down the capacitor now it can be touching anyone including the corners next to the next to the power station as soon as that is active you can see look it's doubled pretty much doubled the power that the power station is able to handle so that that is very efficient that's very effective actually um, so it's important to remember that when you're planning out a power station that you don't want um, to put anything right next to it that could um, stop you from adding power capacitors to it. Now, our money has gone down quite a lot. Now we are actually making money because we haven't had any incidents at this facility. Um, which I think is a bit weird because we have like no prisoners here. But that's how the game works. But ideally uh, we need some form of money. So what we want to do is go down here into the grants and you see you've got a number of ones that are greyed out and ones that you can take. So um, 
We, you can take, I believe, two at the start, and they give you some money up front and some money um, when you complete. So this one they give you 20 up front and 10 when you complete, which is basic detention center. That's important to always take. And it gives you a list of things, goals to go towards. And there's one for administration center, which we're actually working on right now. So that is five up front and five for completion. So that's really good. So now we're maxed out on the amount of grants we can take. So the other two have gone grayed out as well. So that's okay. Um, so we've got this building ready and um, we can actually work towards this goal first. So we need to do two offices. So we have this empty building and we can build two offices. So we'll get um, the room and we choose now it's highlighted rooms according to what we have um, listed in our thing so choose two offices so we'll mark them down and it tells us what we need for an office I'll zoom in more that no, doesn't get bigger it needs to be a minimum size of 4x4 four four. it needs to be indoors which we've passed both of them but it needs an office desk, a chair and a filing cabinet. So we need to get those things. So I'm obviously, um, you can if you want, place some doors down. Um, so we'll put a desk down in each. I'm going to do the mirrored image of each other. The chair. It doesn't really matter where you place the chair. Um, some people like to place exactly where the whole of the desk is. Um, when you have something, you see it this way round. If you press R, it rotates it for every time you press R. So actually the chair should have been on this side. If you're playing it like that. But it doesn't really matter. Um, and we need a filing cabinet as well. Same thing, press R to rotate it around. So we'll put it down there facing in so they can get in and out as much as they want so now the office once they place that you lose the red triangle those are valid offices and we get a little dingle dingle because we built those two so now we can hire our warden you can dump him inside and if you're on steam you get some of these and it should go away eventually um, so that is that and we can hire an accountant as well but to hire an accountant we need to unlock them so we need to go on bureaucracy which is a little picture of our warden over here and he does different researches and research actually costs money so we need to unlock finance so we're going to set that and it gets it queued up and he can unlock different things to unlock um, different sections later on now the warden does the first round of research and then it branches off from there so uh, we can tell him like after you finished uh, finance I want you to research maintenance maintenance is quite quite good as well so that obviously it won't tick down until he's finished working on the finance um, and then you can unlock different things some of them you need for staff and some of them like this one and this one they're actual parts of the of the game um, that you can add through just having the the warden research them so as soon as he's ready with that we should hear a little dingle dingle and um, and uh, we can hire our accountant and obviously look if you go in to here it's uh, telling you how far along he is with the research so it's 95 percent now well he was a bit less but i did that dingle dingle so that means that now we can hire our accountant who i like to call betsy so here she is and that has now disappeared we've got the other five thousand for the grant because we've um, fulfilled it so that's good now the prison is looking a bit mucky but that comes along later so that's good we've got all our first things that we need 
done. Um, now, before we forget, um, I want to mark the room. If I have it, I think you need to research. No, you don't need to research it. So I'm going to mark visitation because I will forget it. Um, and in fact, I'm going to slap down the visitor booth. So, so it tells you which way the visitor and the prisoner is. So we want the prisoners inside and the visitors outside. Okay, so that's got that down. Um, and then we can just block it off with a bit of a wall. Could have a door really, but better to have a wall. So like that the prisoners are not going to get through. Now this isn't as personal as having a room with chairs. You could have these visit tables. So the, vis the visitors are the three and the prisoner is the one. Um, it's less secure, but they get more out of their visit like this. But I've decided to go for this way, this particular time. Now, how are the prisoners going to get into this visitor's thing? They're going to need a door. So we have to rotate the door and put, put one there. I want to try and get it as safe as possible, so I've done the jail door, so it has to be a guard to let them in. Now you could do different different designs to fit more in, but I've done it like that for now. Um, you could always take these down and just have the benches, that's okay as well. So another thing you want to do pretty early on is build your fence. You need to build your fence all the way around the prison. Now I can move around the prison by pressing the arrow buttons. You can go to the edge with the mouse, like so, or to the top, like so. Or you can just do like that and press an arrow and it will also move the screen for you. Okay, so that's set as a fence to be built and we need to add some security which in this particular instance will be road gates. Now it's still not the safest prison but that's enough for now that's a start of our quick start guide um, and then we'll discuss a few more things in the next episode. Um, so thanks for watching I've been Stranky and um, if you actually comment on this video um, and you're subscribed to the channel, I have a, um, a draw for the month of July to win a copy of Blueprint Tycoon. It is a series I have running as well on the channel. So um, yeah, if you like this type of game, it's uh, quite similar. So yeah, if you if you subscribe and you leave a comment, you you will uh, be entered in to uh, to the draw for that. So anyway. So thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.